Hi everyone, it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. Today is Charm Chatter number two. Um, thank you all for joining me. Thanks for watching, subscribing, sharing, liking my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's a chilly day today and I wore a sweater, but now it's warm in here. <laughs> the heat just kicked on. Woo. Um, the heat produces very quickly at our house. Thank goodness for that. <coughs> but man, when it's blowing, it's hot. And I'm right in front of the heater, so it just shut off. And whew, and I'm drinking coffee in my mug from Rosie. Oh, very good. So I have a couple of things. Um, I did want to show you my newest whip. And I don't know that I can link this. And I, I honestly don't remember the name of it. But uh, Marley Bird did like some Christmas giveaway. Christmas uh quick christmas gifts crocheted and knitted um you know she did this whole 12 days of christmas thing i think it was and this is one of the uh shawls um and this is what i'm making anyway this is what i've been working on i can't remember the name of the pattern right now and i can't look it up because it's in my phone <laughs> and that's what i'm recording on uh, but you just make it, uh, you start at the bottom, work your way up and then you sew it together at the end, like the last six inches. And then it's, you know, just this cute little cowl. And I had this leftover yarn from when I first started crocheting, um, and this is a red heart yarn. I don't have the label because I didn't know to keep them at that time. But it's a red heart um, stripes. One of those vibrant color ones. You would recognize the color if you saw it in the store. It's beautiful. Uh, red heart isn't necessarily my favorite yarn ever in the world. Because it's, you know, a little stiffer. Uh, but from what I understand, it washes up very, very nicely. I made a wrap for Chloe just a little skirt to go around her bathing suit um, when I first started crocheting and she picked out the yarn and this was what was left of it uh, this little bit and I don't know why it's in two separate sections <laughs> that I don't have any idea I don't remember but I maybe it didn't all fit on my ball winder I'm totally lost I don't know <laughs> but anyway this is the beginning of it, and I'm just going to crochet it out until the yarn is gone. But I like to have a project that's small that I can put in my lunch bag. This is still getting a little bit big for the lunch bag, so this is going to be my crochet at home project. Um, I go to work early, particularly in the winter time. I leave at the same time, winter or summer, but um, I started leaving like extra early because of winter, and then it just became a habit that that's the time I leave at. So I get there, you know, um, we have to take a shuttle bus from the parking area. So some, sometimes you have to wait for that bus or you can walk it. But if it's cold, I'd rather sit in my car, <laughs> wait for the bus to come, you know, in the summertime I walk it more, but, um, anyway, you have to, you have to wait for the shuttle bus and, um, so it's really like a 15 minute ride to work, but I leave 45 minutes early. So, but I ended up, I end up usually being there in the building, um, probably a half an hour earlier than start time, which is, you know, gives you a little time. So I have like 20 minutes to crochet and then I have to put it away and get it in my locker or in my lunch bag or whatever. And, um, <clears throat> so, uh, I, I get like 20 minutes before work I count on 20 minutes before work every day and this has been what I've been doing but it's getting a little big for my to go into the second skein and now it's gonna second half of the skein and now it's gonna get too big for my lunch bag so anyway that's a bunch of to do about nothing really um but I did want to show you my new whip I think it's turning out really pretty and that would look so sharp with a black shirt underneath don't you think uh even a white shirt and it's lacy enough that maybe you can wear it deep into this, you know, spring. Um, 
anyway, so that's that. Uh, then the next thing I have had this code, I've had this for a couple of days and I forgot to, to show it to you yesterday. At the end of the year, I love Premier Yarns. Uh, I have a lot of Premier Yarns. I buy from them quite frequently. Um, I buy, you know, I, I just, I haven't, I don't think I've met a Premier Yarn that I really don't like. Um, I haven't bought their, I think there's just the basics and I've been told it's really, really great. So the next order I place, uh, if the basics is on sale or not, I'm going to get at least one skein as my solid color choice and see how much I like it. Uh, I have a lot of yarn that I have never tried, but I don't have a, my biggest stash is all not solid colors. And, um, you know, I keep saying that I'm going to like try to do away with so many, I'm not going to buy the cakes so much anymore unless it's a specific problem project that I need the cake for. So, um, anyway, that's, that's a, a next thing on the list, but I got a hold of Premier and I, I contacted them, I emailed them and asked them if there was, um, a coupon, I'm not an affiliated, it's not an affiliated link, but they, and I didn't ask for that. Um, but I asked if they had like a discount code that I could put on my videos for my subscribers. And they gladly gave me one and, um, it's case sensitive and it's good for one time use only. Um, and I don't know if you've ever ordered from, uh, a yarn company online or, or anything online, but they, ha they, there's a box when you're checking out for discount codes. Sometimes that's already filled in with what the sale is. So if the sale is off your 40% off your entire purchase, that area might already be filled in. You don't get this code on top of that code, but if that area is not filled in and you're buying yarn that's on sale, um, you know, it's regular $5, it's on sale for $4 and that's just a sale price, no coupon, no code required then my code would work and you can use this code one time. It's a one time use code, um, but it's available for everyone and it works until uh, March 31st. So they're giving me a try until March 31st, or I should say giving you a try. If you order from them and I'm not advocating that you order from them, but if you're going to order from them, use this code and get 10% off. So, and as I said, it is case sensitive. It is. I hope this is not backwards for you. C G C H for like charm, Grammy crochet. Uh, I don't know why H cause crochet is C R, but anyway, C G C H 10 and the percent sign. So if you put that code in that little box there, <coughs> excuse me, you will get, Oh, I'm covering up where it says premier yarns. Don't mind my messy handwriting. Um, that'll give you a 10% off at premier yarns. <coughs> So <clears throat> anybody that likes to order from them and you should always, and again, I'm not affiliated with any specific yarn company. Um, I like Lion Brand. I order from them quite a bit and I buy their yarns in the stores as well. You know, anytime you can get a good sale, it's a good time to buy yarn. Um, when, when you go to their sites for the first time they you can sign up to get their emails and they'll send you all the sales which if you're a yarn collector is very enabling <laughs> um but if you're looking for a deal that's the time to buy the yarn so um right now lion brand is doing a yarn for 50 cents a, a skein rush over there or buy it real quick I'm not buying any of that yarn. Um, I've looked at it two times. It's little tiny. It's little tiny skeins. They're only 40 yards in a skein. And it's thick yarn, like a five or a six, um, which would make up fast. But again, you're going to be adding to that every two seconds, if you ask me. Um, and it's only 40 yards a skein. So it's two, two for a dollar. To me, it just, I think it's going to be a lot of work. Sorry, Lion Brand, because I do love your yarns. Um, but I'm not, I'm not jumping on that sale. 
But to use that, you have to put in a code. So my code would not work. I mean, that's Lion Brand, this is Premier. But that type of sale where it says, put in this code and you get that discount, you can't use. But if you like that yarn or if you're into it, it's that um, London something, something London yarn. Um, it's on sale two for a dollar. That's a darn good sale if you like those little tiny skeins of yarn. Um, anyway, they always will send you, if you sign up for their emails, they'll always send you what's on sale, special discounts, special, you know, make you aware of what's going on. I live by those. Uh, those stores will do it too. Um, I imagine you mostly all know that. Michaels, Joann's, AC Moore did. Um, they still are sending me some coupons because AC Moore is still around in my area. Um, they're not sending coupons, but they're sending ads, which I'm not, I, their yard selection is very minimal right now. Um, and their sale is they're 25 to 50%. It's only 25 on the yarn. So there's that. But anyway, use the code. If we get a good response, maybe they'll renew the code or give me a different code or a better code. So that would be great too. Um, so let's see, that's the second thing on my list. Oh, so my resolution for 2020, and I do not have goals as we know, but my, I am resolving that I want to limit my crochet per my yarn purchases to replacing yarn that I've used um, because truthfully I have to really be concerned about space if I have to go up to the attic for yarn that's ridiculous I have out, I keep outgrowing the space that I've allocated for my yarn and I cannot outgrow my yarn room I need to use it up first and I have to be disciplined about it which I know you're all probably laughing at me because obviously I do not show much discipline because I'm not very disciplined. <laughs> we'll be honest, okay? So this really will be a big, big challenge for me to uh, restrain myself. Um, so that is my challenge is to, I have to stay within this room <laughs> with my yarn and I really need it to go down because it's, it's overwhelming at this point. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I mean, I like my yarn. I like being in here. I like seeing it. I like rearranging it. It's fun for me. It's a hobby for me, and I enjoy it. I enjoy shopping for it. I enjoy just going to the yarn store and looking at the yarn, but that's the problem. You can't just go and look. You end up buying, and this is what happens. And I can't pass up a good sale, so that's also this is what happens. Um, particularly when I'm a yarn addict. I'm a yarn addict. It's just the way it is. Love me or turn off my videos. What can I tell you? Um, so, that being said, that is what my goal is for. Not that's not a goal. I don't like that word. <laughs> um, and resolutions I never keep, but I really am going. That is my biggest uh, resolution. Only resolution that I'm making this year is I cannot outgrow this room, and I'm not buying more storage so that I can store more yarn in this room. That's it's. I have to work faster, buy less. I can't work faster, so we have to buy less. <laughs> I know, I know. Easier said than done. Okay, so that was the next thing on the list. Now the next thing on the list is, Liz, you're killing me. Liz um, from Leave It to Lefty Crochet and I, we talked about doing the never ending flower shawl. She's wanted to do it. She's tried starting it and had a hard time. I've never tried starting it. I bought the yarn for it. Uh, and it's been sitting on my shelf because that's as far as I got. Um, I'm not making a shawl. I want to make curtains for my kitchen. I saw the flower pattern and I just thought it was adorable and I wanted to make kitchens, cur curtain, kitchen curtains. I have a double window in the kitchen, so it's really long. It's like 60 inches, I think, um, straight across. So my I would want it longer on the ends, like a swag, and then straight across on the top. And, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I, 
<coughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, but it's never been a pressing project. So I just keep putting it off, putting it off. And Liz and I were chatting and so we were going to try to do it together. And I believe that there are some others of you out there that are also interested in doing it and like doing it kind of together to help inspire each other. So Liz threw me a curve and said she wanted to do it in January, but I thought towards the end of January, so I hadn't said anything about this. Um, but last night she said she, she sent me a text and or an email and she um, did a video yesterday on how she's starting it and she's not having as difficult. She did make one flower and she picked out her yarn. She's purchased several types of yarn, uh, the poor thing. Um, so, but she's got it set and she has made one flower. So now I have to watch the video all over again. I started watching the video, the tutorial that is the never ending flower shawl tutorial from the secret yarnery. And you'll have to go, I still don't have my laptop. I borrowed my daughter's yesterday and got a lot of stuff um, edited into my videos. Um, but you know, past videos, things that hadn't been in there um, on her laptop. But <clears throat> putting the links in, I don't know if I could do that. I'll try. Um, anyway, you'll see it at, at the Secret Yarner. You'll be able to find it. It's not a hard video to find. So when I did start watching it, and when she makes it, she's making a shawl, and it attaches in the front. It's all like one piece when you're said and done um, and you slide it over your head. It's not a shawl that you wrap around. Um, she used to have it hanging on the back of her chair and it's attached here and then like builds out and down as long as big as you want it to go. So I'm thinking to make it for uh, just to go over a curtain rod I'm not going to attach it. I'm just going to grow it length you know, and then, or width, and then longer on the sides, shorter in the middle. And I believe, but I'm not 100% sure, I believe, like, you add each flower as you go. Uh, I didn't get that far into the video. Um, if it's make each flower and then add it, then sew them together, that would be perfect, because then I could take that to work. Each flower <laughs> in a little bag with a little ball of yarn and make the flowers and then attach them. Um, but I don't think it goes that way. Uh, so to start with, I can it can be a work project, which is awesome, and then it's going to have to be an at home project. Anyway, when I the the flowers are made in two different ways. One is across your back, um, gets an extra petal. Across the front, or a different petal, um, I'm not sure, but then across the front is where you grow grow those shawl apparently and it's different around your neck there's no extra petal here when she starts the tutorial she starts on the petals here and I that I'm like okay I'm not making it now I'm not gonna get into it because then I have to figure out where I really need to start so I didn't watch any further than that so that's next on the agenda that all being said I purchased yarn for this and I will show you what I got um, I purchased this yarn a while ago and it's ice yarn because that's what Christy uses. I did not start with ice yarn and so that's a whole nother thing. But don't mind my crinkling because it's been kept in its little baggies. I just want to pull out one to show you. So this is Natural Garden Ice Yarn. They're little tiny balls of yarn and they are I think um, not going to give me much of this is 40% bamboo, 35% cotton, and 25% linen. It is a number two weight yarn. And these little tiny balls are 50 grams, which is 150 meters. I don't know what that... And it's like a little spun... I don't know. Does it focus? There you go. Um, in her tutorial... Oh, don't get all messy on me. In her tutorial... Uh, Krista uses nine different colors. Well, on ice yarns, you order the six pack for $20.95 shipping. 
and you know me, I don't like to pay shipping. Um, but I ordered six pack and I didn't get all the colors that I wanted because they didn't have all the colors in stock that I wanted. I did get this, uh, this color here, which is one I just showed you up front is called dark salmon and it's a dark salmon. This color is called fuchsia. Oh, let me show you the back. I don't want to pull them all out. So, let's see. This color is called fuchsia. And I'm going to tell you, these two colors, almost the same color. I am like a little bit disappointed that those two are almost the same color. And then I got the light salmon. Which, um, I think this is the dark salmon. You know, there's a color difference. And I was really disappointed that the fuchsia and whatever. And then I got white. I got lavender. And I got light pink. Um, so those are the six colors that I have. I wanted to get a yellow. In her tutorial, she shows a bright yellow, like, like this color yellow. It's not on their website. It wasn't on their website when I ordered. It's not on their website. Now, they have a dark yellow, like a goldenrod, they call it. And I was considering ordering that, but I really want light yellow, or bright yellow. And I wanted a blue, and I wanted a green to finish out my nine colors. They, now I ordered those last year, last spring. Um, they, I haven't, mind you, I haven't checked in, uh, maybe one other time since last week. Um, last week, Liz reminded me that we were going to work on these. And so I'm like, oh, I got to get these other color yarns. They didn't have any last week. I think I checked one other time during the summer. They didn't have those colors in stock. So I decided I have these. I have these little guys. I believe Mama Swift sent me these. Uh, they are mercerized cotton, uh, 136 yards in each little skein. This color is called Ginger, and they are a number three weight. Uh, I don't think the weight is going to be that much different, and I don't think the yarn is going to matter a whole lot that it's a little bit different. I don't think. Um, if it does look bad, then I will rip it out and hopefully Ice Yarns will get that other stuff in stock real quick. Uh, and I also have this yarn. Um, it has blues and greens and whites. So for a multicolored flower petal, I think that would be really cool. And it is... Uh, 40%, 45% balm wool, balm wool, I don't know, 45% cotton. Oh, maybe that's what that is, because that's in a different language. Okay, 45% cotton, 42% virgin wool, and 13% poly made. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't think it tells me a yarn weight on here. Um, but it looks to be about the same kind of weight as this. And they look pretty together. And I think that those will just add the blue and the green that I was looking for. Still don't have the yellow. But that's what I'm going to do. And I don't mind. I know I, uh, I know Liz says she doesn't like mixing yarn types. I don't mind doing that. Um, it adds texture, if you ask me. And I'm all about texture. And if it doesn't look good, like I said, I'll just rip it out. Um, I don't have a problem with trying it out and deciding if I like it. So, those are the colors that I'm using. I think the, I think they'll be okay. Um, I'm not going to hold them all up for you. As I said, I'm a little disappointed that the one pink and the other pink are almost the same dark on color. You can't tell that on the website. That's the problem with buying online. Um, 
So I had promised you guys a giveaway today for the new year. When I first saw and determined, I'm going to say this was last February, that I wanted to make that shawl, I went on Hirschner's because they were having free shipping. So I went on Hirschner's and I bought yarn for this. Um, I didn't know how much yarn I would need. And at the time, I hadn't determined that I was going to make this for my kitchen. I thought I was just going to make it to wear. And I bought these little yarns. Now, I have had a lot of crocheting between when I purchased this yarn and today. This is a baby yarn, so it's the weight is right. It's a number two weight yarn. Um, it is 100% acrylic which I thought would be really nice for being in the kitchen, easy to wash. <laughs> uh, what I did not realize when I bought this yarn is that it's got a halo. And I don't want a halo hanging on my kitchen curtains. So I've had this yarn and I thought, what am I going to do with these little skeins of this yarn? Um, and I thought maybe I would make a baby blanket. And then I thought, well, you know, these little skeins are so soft and cute. Um, they have 129 yards in each skein. I mean, it's only a two. So I was kind of thinking, this is still, I have nine different colors. This is still a lot of yarn. You can make that shawl for wearing. So I have a couple of each of these, but 900 yards would make it, I'm sure, a big enough shawl for me to wear because the flowers are, they're not little, and then there's space between. Um, so I'm sure that if you wanted to make this in a shawl and use this for more of a chillier weather, but still not too bad, I'm thinking I might still do that. Um, because I have, I bought like two or three of each of these colors, not knowing what I would need. Um, so this color is called Raindrop. This color is called spring so I've got a, like a teal and a and then I've got this blue which is called bluebell and we have peachy keen and we have pinky like inky binky and pinky I don't know we have lilac Okay, gang, I'm running out of fingers, and I'm running out of space. Okay. We have a gray. Uh, this one is called, sure, I don't know, Koala. I know that's not very flowery, but it was like the ninth color. I think I bought all the colors that they had of this at the time. This one is Lemon. That's the right yellow I want. But again, no halo for my kitchen. And White. And this one is called Clouds. This yarn is called Baby Cloud Soft. And it is very, very soft. It is acrylic, so you can wash it and dry it and all that stuff. Um, so I have these nine colors. And for one lucky person, if you want to try to make the shawl or make whatever you want out of these little furry yarns, I think they're adorable. And you've got lots of colors and lots of yardage. So if you don't make the shawl, you can make something very nice out of that. Um, so this is what this is. And this will be the giveaway for, um, it's a little project giveaway. You can make some project out of these little furry yarns. I think they're adorable. And so this is my New Year's giveaway. Give you away you a project for your whip bags. <laughs> Um, oh, I can even include, I have a little, maybe I do. If I do, I will include. I think I have a nice little size project bag for that. Maybe. Um, I'll look. But I think I just gave it away to my granddaughter yesterday. I did. Maybe I have something else. If I have one, I'll throw it in there too. Um, so, you need to follow all the rules of giveaways on YouTube. Um, you have to you know, I appreciate it if you like the video. You have to be subscribed. I do check. Um, you have to make a comment because that's how I'm going to pull the winner. 
I don't care what the comment is. Um, but you do have to make a comment or else you can't be entered. That's how you enter. By making the comment and entering the giveaway, you agree to any rules that YouTube, any government, any anything uh, throws out there at you, all that stuff. Um, if there's duties and taxes, that's all on you. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that there's any other stuff. I'm going to leave this giveaway open until we'll do one week because that makes it easy. So January, well, no, that would be, let's say we'll leave it open until January 9th because that's, what's today? The second, that's one week, that's seven days. Okay, so January the 9th, we will close this giveaway. Um, and I will draw the name on January 10th. So, good luck. Um, you know the rules. I hope you win. Have a happy new year. This video went way long. I talk too much too. Chatty Kathy, right? <laughs> That's why it's Charm Chatter, because there I go again. <laughs> you guys have a great day. Um, see you tomorrow or the next day or the next video. Have a good one. Bye.